This animation demonstrates how one of the most popular minimally invasive procedure, meaning uterine fibroid embolization, is performed step by step through a radial axis. This procedure is commonly done by interventional radiologists. As the first step, the left radial artery is accessed under ultrasound guidance using a micropuncture needle. Once the blood return is noted, a microwire is advanced through the needle into the left radial artery. Then the needle is exchanged for a slim sheet. Once the slim sheet is advanced over the microwire and properly placed within the left radial artery, the microwire and inner dilator are removed. A mixture of vasodilators is injected through the sheet to avoid arterial spasm at this point. Then, normal saline infusion is started through the sheath to avoid possible clot formation. A combination of catheter and wire is advanced from the left radial artery to the aorta and subsequently to the internal iliac artery. Once the tip of the catheter is placed at the origin of internal iliac artery, a long small gauge needle is advanced through the anterior abdominal wall to the anterior aspect of the lumbar vertebra to perform hypogastric nerve block. After injecting the cocktail, the needle is removed. Then, the wire is exchanged for a combination of microcatheter and microwire, which is advanced to the uterian artery. Once the unwanted collaterals are bypassed, the uterian artery is embolized using particles until the blood flow slows down, or in another word, stasis is achieved. Then, the uh, microcatheter is pulled back into the base catheter, which is also pulled back into the aorta, and then advanced into the contralateral internal iliac artery. The unwanted collaterals are normally bypassed in a similar fashion, and a similar type of particles are injected into the contralateral uterian artery until slow blood flow is noted. Once this goal is achieved, the catheters and microcatheters are normally pulled back into the sheath and subsequently removed. Then saline infusion is stopped. The wrist is lifted. A TR band is placed on the wrist and inflated with air. The sheath is removed. And finally, the amount of air within the TR band is adjusted.